The second example is where for calculation of gradient is the one is a height that you can easily determine, but the second one you have to take a estimated guess of the height. I say calculate the gradient between the mermaid pool in 07 and treat peak in 11 in 09. Now again I need to zoom in so that you can see the difference. Okay, there's the mermaid pool and there's trick beacon 11. Now trick beacon 11 you can easily see is 1268.7 meters above sea level but the mermaid pool is not so easy to see. So you need to take again use interpolation and take an estimated guess of the height of the mermaid pool. Now again using index contours sea level will be zero so this will be 100 200 300 400 500 600 etc you see here it will be very difficult to use either index contour on the intermediate contours now there's the mermaid pool so i can say that's 100 and that is 18 meters above sea level. now just look here if you should count um, from sea level 20 40 60 80 can you see you all of a sudden you now missing a contour line so you would think there's zero this will be 20 40 60 80 but what happens and you can see it further along the map is that because there's a road printed the 20 meter contour line is somewhere here between this part of the coast and there because you can see this trick beacon here already say to you it's 30 43.6 meters so sometimes you cannot follow the contours easily because there might be other features printed underneath it but that's my index contour line so I know that's 100 and I know this is 80 and if you follow this 80 you can see there's the mermaid pool the mermaid pool is not on 80 so if you write if you use the height of 80 you can to lose marks because the mermaid pool is not 80 but you can see there's 80 and there's 60. So I know the mermaid pool is somewhere between 60 meters above sea level and 80 meters above sea level. But you can see the mermaid pool is very, very close to 80. So I think a good estimated uh, guess of the height of the mermaid pool will be 78 meters above sea level. And again, so your vertical interval is the difference between 1 to 6, 8.7 and the 78 your horizontal equivalent will be the map distance between the mermaid pool and the trick beacon and I need to measure this and again you're going to use the middle of the mermaid pool and the middle of the trick beacon to measure that distance and if I do that I get 5.2 centimeters you can see there's one two so 5,2 centimeters. So to calculate the gradient between the mermaid pool and trick beacon 11 will be gradient is vertical interval over the horizontal equivalent. The trick beacon height you read off and that is 1268,7 meters and you're going to subtract the height of the mermaid pool and you now took an estimated guess that it's 78 meters above sea level the horizontal distance that I've measured between the two is 5,2 centimeters and I'm going to multiply it by 500 meters why 500 it's a 1 to 50,000 scale map and I need to have the same units so that's why I use 500 if I subtract the two so 1268.7 minus 78 meters you will see I get 1119.7 meters so 1190,7 meters And the horizontal equivalent will be 5.2 times 500 
and that gives me 2600 meters. You know that a gradient is always indicated as 1 over something, so I'm going to divide here by 1190.7. What I do at the top, I do at the bottom. So if I took 1200, I'm going to divide it by 1190.7, and you will see I get 2,2 if I round off. So this will be 2,2, .2. I round off to 1 over 2. That means I've got a 1, 2, 2 gradient. That means for every 2 meters, I walk horizontally, or my height is going to increase by 1 meter. And this is quite a significant um, gradient. It's very steep. So it means for every 2 meters, 2 meters is the length of the door, you're going to go up by 1 meter. So this is the calculation of gradient. So, to summarize, vertical interval is the difference in heights between the two points. You sometimes need to take an estimated guess of the height. The horizontal equipment equivalent is the map distance between the two, and we multiply by 500 meters because height is indicated in meters, so the horizontal equivalent also need to be indicated in meters.